I found the creature. The reports were accurate. God, that was one big mother. The specimen will produce a great deal of enzyme. Wait, that does what again? Don't question the Baba. You need only be concerned about your pay. Fair enough. I'm no doctor anyway. Fine then. Here is your compensation. To your next successful haunt. What can I get for you, Baba? I have a very large order to fulfill. The supply division needs a stockpile of medicine. To do this, I need you to trap several infected at the same time. A trap? Not kill? <laughs> How do I do that? Hi. They're our setup, so let me explain. At the locations, you'll find a jury rigged shipping container. All you gotta do is lure the biters into the container. When you got all of them in there, get out before they nail your ass. On your way out, slam the lever, and gravity will do the rest. The doors will drop on either side, trapping the buggers inside. Sounds dangerous. Wait, why am I doing this if you set up the traps? 
Because we got bigger fish to fry. And the Bobby here says you're more than capable. Don't worry, we'll be doing our part. If you did your part right, you'll see some gas coming out the top of the trap. That's released when the door shut, sending our little babies into dreamland. If they dream anymore. How am I supposed to harvest samples if they're trapped inside? That's where we come in. Once the critters are trapped, your job's over. We'll come in later, harvest what's needed, and deliver it to the Baba ourselves. All right. I can work with that. Great. This much medicine is gonna save a lot of lives. When a lot of lives need saving. The traps are set up on Lighthouse Island, Eden. Be safe. That's the plan. We have something in common, but there's also one... eventually got tired of roaming the world. We have something in common, but there's also one big difference between us. I eventually got tired of roaming the world. <sighs> they say you're a filter. Haven't you found your place yet?
Tell me more. She's still seeing that. I'm looking for Josh. Why? Thick of your teeth? He not here. Thank God. Aiden. Is Elena okay? Aiden? Is that you? Hello, Pilgrim. This is my son. Oh yeah, this is Aiden. I think we met when your dad was sick. Um, how's it going, Oya? Get lost. Oh yeah. Sorry about that. He's having a hard time. A lot's changed for us. And what happened? You see, Patricia and I have separated. And once I've recovered, the first thing I wanted to do was get that motherfucker. <sighs> Sorry, kid, cover your ears. You mean that motherfucking waltz? You've cursed like that a hundred times in front of me. Yeah, him. Uh, Patricia had asked me not to. But I wanted revenge on Waltz for killing my men, for killing Lucas. And him escaping punishment, you know? Well, did you get him? Nah. A few days after I was walking again, I started looking for him. And Patricia pleaded with me, but... When I returned home after a few days, I found it empty. Patricia had moved out and taken the boys with her. Most of their things were gone. All I found was a letter. Just a few words, really. <laughs> Apparently, while I was stationed in old Villador, Patricia had made contact with her ex-husband. I've no idea what she saw in a stuffy old teacher. He's only our teacher. Jeez, Dad. Oh, yeah. 
Look, I know you're only trying to protect your mother. Although, to be fair, they aren't living together. I don't know what's going on. Mum left because she was tired of it all. She'd had enough. Yeah, that's true. More than enough, I suppose. Uncertainty, fear for me. Wondering whether I'd come back alive. But now I've only got one goal. To get my family back. I know how you feel. Sometimes, in our rush toward our goals, we forget about the people around us. You've been running around, looking for someone this whole time, haven't you? Yes, my sister. Waltz may know something about her. I hope you don't lose yourself. Like I have. Patricia won't talk to me. Or oh, yeah, well, you can see for yourself. Only my youngest gives me the time of day. I'm teaching him how to handle weapons. But being with them makes me stronger. And I won't take any more of your time. I wish you the best, Dater. Wait. Remember Lazarus? It's a solid weapon. And it's unlikely to be of any use to me anymore. I was supposed to kill Waltz with it. You do it for me. You can bet I will. Bye, Oyer. Get lost. Seeing you. Fine. Fine, I'll go get it. Bring a video's building blocks too, because he's been taking mine. Oh, anything else I can do for you? After you bring the coat Fuck and the me. blocks, People will always just complain. leave him alone, okay? Just cries all the time because of you. You all right, Sweet Adrian? weapon you he got there, Aiden. To get lost. Is it new? I would like to spend some time with my son. You have strange friends, Dad. Sorry, Aiden, but it's me and Oya's time. Frank is one handsome fella. It's a shame he's such a booze hound. Hey, stop staring at me. Sometimes I wonder, was it easier to believe in God before all this? Back off, you weirdo! even happened. That's about the Just only go after them. Them. You're Aiden? They're waiting for you. Come on. The meeting's in the VIP room. The mood's friendly. Like fucking Christmas at my family home. Who do you think you are, you fucking liar? Calm down, Jack. Before you pop a vessel. This plan is total shit. Do better. How about this? Do nothing. It's definitely simple. Commander, isn't it high time we put this shit before a firing squad? Wow. The dog started barking. Guess I better behave. All right, whoa, fellas. You brought me here to plan something, right? Aiden, these are the VNC tower plans. Once we get the power back on, we can re-establish communication. People throughout the city will learn about our mission. They'll be able to join in and help us. So, you plan on broadcasting propaganda? Whatever it takes to defend against the renegades. When the Butcher sees how strong we are, 
They'll retreat. We'll prevent war. However, there are a few matters we need to take care of first. The whole district is powered by an electrical substation. I was going to send a squad to turn it on, but I heard you already did that. Good job, kid. Too bad you handed it over to the civilians. We could have used it. Doesn't matter now, Ro. At least we don't have to worry about electricity anymore. Step one is securing the perimeter around the TV station. My men will do that. I'll head out, sir. Of course, Ro. Good luck. We won't disappoint you, sir. Yes, we'll do our best, sir. Who asked you, Wisbowski? Now move your ass. You're waiting on us. The next time you speak to me like that in front of my soldiers, I'll take my life and cut your fucking cock off! Oh, imagine all the grieving tons. Shut up. Can we just get back to the plan? Thank you. After Jack's puppies secure the entrance, my men will bring the lamps and set up an outpost. And then, if everything goes smoothly, which it definitely will, since the plan's author is the commander-in-chief himself. I'm warning you. You'll turn on the elevators and ride it to the top. And when you get to the roof, you attach the transmitter to the antenna. Got it? The entire building is powered by the electrical substation. Rose men will secure the perimeter with lamps. Got it. You see, Juan? That's how you obey orders. Or get yourself killed. But my neck's not on the line here. See you at the TV station. It's a great day we've all been waiting for. Yes, a great day to die. Aiden? I hear Jack and Juan are trying to sell you a hot load of horse shit. Meet me outside the canteen. You know a Josh? I'm looking for him. Buy me a shot. Maybe I'll remember something. First info. Another shot and you'll be completely worthless. Josh, he gotta be swimming in booze somewhere around here. Either that or fist deep in someone's face. We got a problem? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, too dangerous to pull anyone else into. Come on, just out with it already. Okay. Have a seat. I'll tell you the whole story. My name's Paul. I run a damn good scavenger team. Me and Daisy are in charge. Her son, Fitz, is our second. And recently, some assholes moved into our territory, trying to push us out. Avery and Francis. You heard of them? No. Well, they're bad fucking news. Daisy went to talk to him, to be neighborly. Our neighbors beat her and broke her hand. It could have been worse. Even after that, we were willing to talk. I mean, we're not fighters. So Fitz took the crew with him for another meeting yesterday. They never came back. And I don't know what to do. I, uh, I need to find them. I need to know what happened. I see. Okay, I can take a look. Where do I start? Uh. You're a godsend. The team must have left from our staging area. Back in the day, it was called the Incubate Building near Goldstone Loans. The signs are still up, so you shouldn't have trouble finding it. Just take a look. I'll make it worth your while. Promise. I'll check it out, and we'll see. We keep making more kids, but not more biomarkers. Aw, oh, don't act so offended. I was paying your tits a compliment. How about I pay your balls a compliment with my shoe? Everything all right? There you are. You're in gonna admit it and dick for brains here starts hitting on me. Sorry, my dude. I, I was just making sure your girl was safe. So where is your boyfriend? At the bar, buying me a beer. Go ahead, buy yourself one too. Haven't seen you here before. Where are you from? Nowhere that matters. I'm looking for a friend. You ran across a guy named Josh. It's regular, I hear. Rings a bell. What do you want with him? Uh, just swap stories of our love lives. Could swap a few of those myself. 
But sure, if I see him, I'll let you know. The way he smacks folks around, he knows he's not wanted in the bar. Take care. But hey, eat your beer. No worries, I got it. Living the high life, aren't you? I heard you mention Josh. <coughs> Try the roof, man. <laughs> Thanks. Whoa, it's my guardian angel. Guardian angel? If you hadn't helped with the renegades, I'd be out of work right now, or worse. <laughs> That's more Matt's doing. Hey, don't be modest. On the house, I'm Nicholas. Hey, tell me about Luan. Frank says women like her were given call signs based on cocktails. Bloody Mary, Margarita Rocks. Luan is hot shit with a hot temper. You do not want to get on her bad side. Cross her once and that's it. Game over. So you know Frank well? Not old military buds well, but well enough to know back then he was a big shot. A special forces commando, a night runner, quite the high ranking mucky muck. Until one mission, he led people into the television tower, ended in a massacre. After that, he ditched the uniform and started the fisheye. Took out a new lease on life, but he became a haunted man. Frank relives that tower mission, start to bloody finish every day. The booze helps him get through it all. I've seen him on a bender. Drinking like that isn't helping him get through anything. Then imagine what he's like when he's not drinking. So, how do things work in this place? The fisheye? They work better than anyone predicted when Frank set up shop. Two days and the peacekeepers were taken over or the renegades will blow it up. And nobody blew anything up. It's the safest place around by far. Neutral turf. Even bandits come here just to hash out deals over booze. Anyone can relax without the threat of violence. Rivalries are checked at the door. That's a good place to have. I gotta go. Wait. You interested in making a bit of money? And how would I do that? It's a simple job. There's a metro station under the fisheye. Used to be UV lamps in the metro that kept the infected at bay. But they stopped working because every tunnel and station is infested. So, you want me to turn on the lamps? Yeah. Get to the electrical room. For all we know, could just be a blown fuse. If so, you could just reset the main power supply from there. Before you go, got a little something that'll help you out. A house specialty. Guaranteed to warm those biters' bellies. Just a bit of house hooch, a bottle and an old rag. But powerful stuff. Or you can always just sneak in past the biters if you don't want to make a ruckus. Once you turn on the UVs, they'll fry anyway. And you won't end up wasting good hooch. All right, I'll take care of it. Thanks. Good luck down there. I'll call the BK if you don't leave me alone. Frank is one handsome fella. It's a shame he's such a booze. It's out. Good seeing you.
about Elena. Elena sent you? She suck her latest cash cow dry already? Or maybe, maybe she wants to see me? Nobody sent me. I hear you know a thing or two about Elena. Important things. Yeah, right. You want to fuck her like all the rest of us. Now get out of here before I lose my temper and rearrange your face. I'm trying to listen to my tunes. <laughs> Talk. What secrets of Elena's are you keeping? All right. We hooked up not long after she lost her husband. Third chump in a row to kick it after being with her. You see? Spend money on her like it was going out of style. And then it was just... gone. Clear in my head real quick and I realized... Poison! She poisoned her former lovers and she was doing it to me! Poison? What kind? got her own secret recipe. Apparently passed down from her old lady. Now from what I hear, you just as easily had alcohol poisoning. You think I don't know the difference? It's booze that saved me. I'm convinced. Knocked out that damn poison and saved my fucking life. Elena's a goddamn witch. She's got a whole stash of this shit in her apartment. Keeps it in these little orange boxes. Go check out her place on the ship. Okay, I'll take a look.
Can I ask for a favor? One wrong move, and I skewer you like a pig. You? So you're a thief. Tell me about this. Fuck you. This is my apartment. Get out now, before I call the guard. I'll go for it. Sure they'd want to know about your poison, too. So, you found Josh. And he said that I tried to poison him, right? Yeah, and that you're currently conning a man so that he'll turn over his shop and money to you. Right? Except you've got plenty of experience killing, right? Hey, we all got our ways to survive. If mine is to have chumps throw their money at me, and their way is to throw all their money at me, well, win-win, I say. But I've never killed anyone. No way. Why should I believe you? You took the drunk's word for it. Why not take mine? Hey, there's more than that here. Remember four dead men, all while involved with you? What makes you think I killed them, and not... Oh, I don't know, the virus, or zombies. Look, wet behind the ears, that's medicine. My mother was a medic and taught me a few things. Open up! What's going on? Hide it, quick! It's nothing. Just a disagreement. A loud one, I guess. What's that in your hand? Got an anonymous tip to search this apartment for poison. There's talk of a murder. If this really is poison, as suspected, this woman will hang tomorrow. You've got to help me! You hear me? Please? I'm not a murderer! Find Baba! She has a shop on St. Paul Island. She'll clear my name. She's a play witch! Show her what you found!
I got a favor to ask. You still haven't paid me back the last time. deals with these damn renegades. Don't want my name ending up in some memorial down in the streets. I need to find out if this is a poison. Can you help me? It's urgent. You don't need me. Take a swig, and we'll both find out soon enough. I'm serious. A woman's life literally hangs in the balance. Come on, help me, damn it! You fight for this woman. Yet, she is not the one you struggle to find. Hmm. Familiar, and yet... Yes. You must bring me the proper reagents. Reagents? <laughs> There's no time. Can this go faster? Fast as you want to down that bottle, boy. Are you game? Fine. I'll get you reagents. Where? They're scarce. But you might find some in the GRE Field Hospital in the Cathedral. They say you're a pilgrim. Haven't you found your place yet? 